One last note before we do though. Now that we have two functional groups, it's important to note that you must number your main chain so that the highest priority functional group gets the lowest possible number. OK, some fairly easy ones first to show you how to deal with alkenes and alkynes that have extra functional groups. Here we have something that's both an alkene and an alcohol. Alcohols come further up the priority list, so the name is going to end in ol. And there are five carbons, so it's based on pentane, but there's a double bond, so that makes it pentene. And then we add the ol, and that gives us pentenol. However, we need to put in some numbers to say where the OH and the double bond are. So we number from the alcohol end, and that gives us pent 2 ene one ol OK, next. This is an alkyne, but also a ketone. Note that the carbonyl group is not on an end carbon. So we find the main chain, that's seven carbons long, uh, and it has a triple bond, so that makes it heptyne. And it's a ketone, so then we add the own suffix and it becomes heptyneone. Now we need to number those functional groups as before. So we start from the right, and that gives us hept 3 in 2 own And lastly, there's this methyl group here on carbon number five as a substituent, so we end up with 5-methyl hept 3 in 2 own OK, now for a couple of trickier ones. First one, find the main chain. Here it is, and it's seven carbons long, so it's heptane. It has a carboxylic acid group on this end, and an alcohol group in the middle. Of those two, the carboxylic acid has the higher priority, so the root of the name is heptanoic acid. And now we just have to treat the alcohol as a substituent. You'll see from your notes that when an alcohol group is not the priority group, it's known as hydroxy. And in this molecule, it's on carbon number four, numbering from the right where the carboxylic acid is. So that gives us 4-hydroxyheptanoic acid. OK, the second one. The main chain here is six carbons long. The two functional groups are a ketone and a carboxylic acid. Again, the acid wins in terms of priority, so we have hexanoic acid. And our list tells us that when the ketone is not the priority group, it's known as oxo. And here it is on the fourth carbon, so this molecule is 4-oxo-hexanoic acid. 